Okay, who's winning? <laughs> it's Texas. It didn't go so well. It didn't nah. go so well, yeah. I, I lost almost every hand. <laughs> he lost all the solid state gyms. So, um, uh, you yeah. Interesting set of designs. You've taken, you know, solid state modules, Slur ZFS. We're open to other operating systems, obviously, as well, and so on. So um, let's get a little glimpse in, into the future here a little bit of uh, what's more happening this year and uh, what's happening on a, a networking and solid state front and systems, you know? Yeah, so, again, a, a lot of vendors are talking about consolidating the network, the storage CIO. And quite frankly, you know, we've been doing this for the last 25 years. You know, NFS was invented to solve that problem in 1984, if you remember this correctly. And, you know, every Sun workstation server ever shipped had an Ethernet port. But the, the real difference, you know, between Sun and some of these other vendors is that everything we do is based on open standards. So, um, you know, there's some other companies out there that are, yep. what, what is this called, unified computing, but it only works with their computer, and you have to upgrade the whole data center, you know, to benefit from this technology. In our world, it works with any open interface system. Yeah, so um, on, on Flash itself, where is this going? Is it uh, just a, um, a flash in the pan? <laughs> it's bad pan, bad pun. But um, we got all the Flash jokes, okay? I, I get them every day. Yeah. So. Um, the, the Flash is going for uh, higher capacity. One of the big things is we're still in the transition from um, the consumer technologies. We're still putting some very high-performance interfaces that let us get to multiple gigabytes a second off very small amounts of Flash. Today, we need to use larger amounts of Flash in order to get the performance that we're getting. So it'll be easier and, and more tightly coupled into what you're able to do inside of a system, which is put lots of system, put lots of, of, of network, and put lots of Flash as that sort of first layer of storage. I think you're going to see that uh, in server architectures, disk drives like we've, we've announced today are, are going to become a thing that sits in a storage system that sits outside of where the CPU is, and you'll use Flash as that temporary storage inside of the server, and then all of your data gets stored outside. And with a really high-speed network. With a really high-speed yeah. network. Yeah. So to, to add some specific numbers here, so the initial Flash module is 25 gigabits of usable storage. In a couple of months, it will actually double to 50 gigabytes, and then the Roughly a year from now, it will be 100 gigabytes on this tiny little form factor. So the capacity will go up dramatically, you know, as time goes on. It sounds a little small, but keep in mind we use this primarily as a cache today, not as a replacement for the, you know, terabyte SATA disks. And, and I think it's also really important to point out of what we did when we developed that module. It wasn't just a, a piece of fiberglass. As we went and worked with the smartest people in the Flash business on building enterprise Flash or server Flash that's capable of 7 by 24 op applications that traditional disk drives go into today. So right. it's not it's not your your MP3 player flash. It's actually a robust right. flash that's been specifically designed for our application. Exactly. So this will last for you know continuously writing 24 hours a day, five years. So this is not kind of thing that th this will not burn out. Right. So um, so Jeff, you're uh, you're of course working on um, some interesting technology around deduplication and others, and and uh, you know on some of the storage piece and taking advantage of this. And just got a couple thoughts on on what's going to happen this year. Yeah, this actually turns out to be a really good place to put the uh, deduplication table because one of the things that happens when you're doing dedupe is that you basically have to do uh, there's this table you have to look up for every block you want to write to sort of go compare its hash signature blah, 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 what it translates into is that you're doing a bunch of random IOPS even when you're dealing with what would otherwise be a sequential I.O. stream. To make that go fast, you don't want to be doing random I.O.s to disk. You want to be doing it to flash. The good news is that the size of that table is on the order of like a thousandth of the capacity you're managing. So with a, per a petabyte of storage and a terabyte of flash and a few gig of DRAM, we can make a system that's going to go really fast. And there's no limit to how high we can scale that up. Yeah, interesting you said a terabyte. So, uh, so, so Andy, this is a building block you're going to use in a bunch of things. Storage devices, server devices, things that I don't even know about yeah, yet. Well, we have, we have previewed on a, we don't have the system here today, a one new box. Can yeah. we talk about this here? That has uh, 80 of these in just a one new chassis delivering a million IO ops in a one new form factor, you know, two terabyte capacity. So this gets very interesting if you have a database transactional workload that, you know, can take advantage of those kind of numbers. Yeah, that's great. So um, performance, you know, the Intel 5500, a uh, great upgrade. We're really excited to ship products that we've designed around the Intel 5500. What we've been focused on is other elements of the design, which include how do you get to very high-speed networking, 
how do you incorporate um, uh, flash technology, and then the tools around how do you estimate performance and what are the blueprints for different kinds of applications, because this will be so different for customers who are used to a conventional 5 or 10 percent increase in performance, who suddenly are faced with performance increases that could be 50 or 100 percent, and then you go map that into how does that help you in your business and how can you uh, gain that kind of performance. And this is just the beginning, and what you see is building blocks of flash technology, um, open software stack, and systems design around networking that will just uh, continue to evolve to create these balanced systems. And, 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 and one other point, which is, you know, Sun can now deliver complete solutions that in integrate all these pieces from the storage to the server to the network, which, you know, is, is a fairly new thing for us, but it's actually very effective with customers because they don't have to worry about integrating third-party items. Yeah, so we're, uh, we're very excited here. I want to thank everyone in the audience and everyone watching worldwide, a family of server and networking products that bring together the latest technologies in high-performance networking uh, flash storage technologies and open software to deliver the best possible performance and simplicity and savings. Uh, thank you for joining us here today, and I want to thank my esteemed colleagues for building a great set of products. Thanks. Thank you for